This video was sponsored by Enhance, Elbilmec, a bit of planner, Camp Power, and Bill Componente. Yo, what's up? We are now sitting in a test the Model Y Long Range Uniper. And in this video, we're going to test the Matrix lights here. So I already tested it in the Model 3 Highland. And at least in that car, I was disappointed in uh, that the lights were not as weak, I mean, not as strong. Yeah, it was kind of, they were kind of weak compared to the previous gen, actually the pre-Highland. Uh, because they actually the pre-Highland, they had headlight lights and they had um, uh, supposedly projector lights. But then with the Highland, they changed the type or something. So it appeared to be a bit weaker. Yeah. And then here, how is it here? Uh, uh, I don't know, but I know that these lights also are slightly different than before. They are mounted a bit lower, you know, like corner style. So we are now in Sweden uh, near uh, Strömstad. Well, oh, it's actually, huh? it's 1.21 at night. And there's still slight light outside. Yeah. But okay, so the, the matrix action is going on now, or the adaptive stuff, I don't know. But wow, oh, sh the, the signs are really strong. It se seems like um, the software does not take into account uh, any... Wait, what is that? Doesn't take into account... Um, uh, road signs. Well, I, I think I, there was a music I didn't mute here, okay. So the roll sound are just blasted with full power. Hopefully they can detect big road signs and then dim them down a bit. Uh, yeah, but it requires some some uh, alien technology. Because you need, need to still shine at the signs, but with lower intensity, so you can uh, read them comfortably. But here, for example, this sign here, well, I'm not sure why it didn't feel so bright. Uh, yeah, but many signs they feel uncomfortable. But okay, you see that they will do the adaptive stuff on the car in front and also the oncoming car. But I did get flashed at a couple of times. And this is even the twisty parts. Once we get over to Wild Bike, uh, Falcon Bike, it was going to be straight. Maybe we should test it over there also. No way, but by the time I get there, it might actually be bright outside. Okay, yeah, so. But okay, it seems to be doing a good job blocking the car in front, you see? I'm gonna try to change lane now, see what happens. Uh, yeah, but it has this flickering a bit. It tries to fire up something and then it figures out, oh no, there's something there, and then it flickers. So that's a sign that it's not perfect. It's a perfect system, shouldn't need to flicker like that. And, uh, yeah, this is vision, o uh, vision only, you know, Tesla. Let me see, what happens once we pass this car? There's another big road, well, actually not that big road sign. Yeah, but it feels a bit uncomfortable to look at that sign to the right there. Okay, and then it fires up everything, right? And then we see, okay, the other car exited. I'm gonna change lane now. It lights up the right side, but the left side is blocked, that's good. And it's doing a good job. Uh, you know, these, these intersections are dangerous. It was actually not far from here where I hit that moose with the BMW iX, and the iX was programmed to turn off the high beam in the lid area, and the, the intersection, they had lights, so it turned it off. And then I saw the moose kind of late. If it was turning on earlier, I would have reacted. I would have gotten several seconds of extra reaction time, or I mean, you know, warning before I could, uh, yeah. But it seems like it's doing a good job. So the that part is good when it comes to the strength and so on. Uh, let me see here. We had to try to look at bushes on the side, how it lights up. Yeah, it, it has good strength and good spread. I like it. But mainly on this part, of the road, we will be testing mostly the the adaptive stuff, and it's doing a good job, like I mentioned. And then we just have to check it out near Yesheim uh, for the regular farm stretch. Then, right, we are actually now sitting in a Tesla Model 3 long-range rear-wheel drive. So, um, 
to make a sh long story short, uh, what happened was that yesterday when I was driving the Uniper on the Sunday drive, Tesla called me and said, oh, by the way, the problem with the autopilot they reported, uh, well, first we checked it, as you claimed that there was something wrong, when we claimed there was something not nothing wrong, well, turns out there was something wrong with it, there was an error there. And Tesla's policy is that they won't, don't want to take any chances in case of, I guess, you get stuck, right? So they wanted to swap the cars ASAP. I was like, huh? Well, but I mean, we're going to swap the car tomorrow anyway. They said, no, we want to do it today. And they're going to come over to my house. Or, uh, uh, I was like, okay, well, yeah, well, but I was planning on doing the remaining uh, headlight test that night. But then already that afternoon, yesterday afternoon, Tesla came over with this car I'm sitting in right now and they swapped cars so I'm not able to do the remaining test but now we are in the Swedish highways again and you can see that the Highland lights oh yeah that was probably the 10th or the 20th time I got flashed at but the Highland lights are nowhere as strong as the Uniper lights. Uh, some guy in the live stream claimed that the Uniper lights are a total redesign or something. And I can even see it that it, 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 it just, the, the Uniper lights are better, shine wider, higher, stronger. And here it's just so weak in comparison. And also, of course, weaker than the, the pre Highland Model 3 or, or Model Y, of course. Model 3 and Model Y before. They use the same type of light, hella lights. So at least all, all I can say about the headlight test for the Uniper is that it is very good. Yeah. And for you guys who are disappointed in the Highland light that we see here, yeah, uh, for a good reason, because they are weaker and not so good spread, or at least weaker than the, the hella pre-Highland lights. But uh, the Uniper lights, just appears to be a nice upgrade, or I would say on par with the pre-Uniper, but with, uh, I don't know, well, Matrix, but you already get in the pre-Uniper, yeah, that's true. Mm -hmm. Yeah, what is better than the Uniper? Okay, maybe something else, yeah, okay. Well, at least they, they are, maybe, okay, I could say that they are on par with the pre-Uniper in terms of strength and uh, wideness. So, uh, yeah. Maybe one day I can borrow Uniper again, but I haven't booked Uniper yet. Uh, maybe some people want me to test the, the long-range rear-wheel drive Uniper, uh, you know, Model Y. Okay, eventually if I get that car, I could test the headlights again. But for now, you guys know how it is, right? You have seen now uh, at least the, the first part, the motorway of the Uniper. So if I would give it score, well, it doesn't turn. It doesn't have ultra light, uh, ultra high resolution like the pixel lights. So maybe at least seven out of ten. Huh? Seven, yeah. Okay. Anyway, I think that's gonna be for now. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, thank you for watching, and talk to you later.